So with palettes, um, you do have to look at markings because different stamps mean different things and some of these palettes are treated with chemicals that you don't want to get airborne. So you want to check that first. This one has no stampings whatsoever, so I know that this is safe, but there's a guide um, on the internet that will tell you what the different stampings um, are. So safety first, you want to wear safety goggles. I'm going to use my Makita jigsaw here and I'm going to saw along where the nails are. So I'm not, I'm not gonna get very long sections, but that's okay for the purposes of just showing you how to build a sign. So that's what I'm gonna do. I measure across the back and I take one by twos. I save all my scrap wood. I take one by two. There's a little gap in the one spot. I like that. I don't like them to be perfect. And then what I'll do is I like my um, top board is going to have the hanger in it. So you've got to remember whatever board you put on the back, that's a distance that your project is going to stick out from the wall. So when you're hanging these, like if I'm going to use the eye hooks and wire, I'll move this down here. If I'm going to use a sawtooth hanger, I'll put it more toward the top. And then it's going to be balanced by the bottom board as well. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue and screw these on. It's important to really think about the board that you put on the back. Um, before I started making my own, I had someone make them for me and they used really thin strips of almost like a shim. Um, and if your board has any weight to it, that shim isn't gonna hold up over time. So that's one of the things that you wanna think about. You so I am going to glue and screw these. Before I do that, I'd like to drill a pilot hole so that my board doesn't split. I like to use either tight bond glue, which I have right now, or Gorilla Wood glue. They're long enough to go through your backboard. I'm probably going to have to use one and a quarter inch. Screws. Because my one by two is going to be three quarter. And then if I'm going to go actually through my front board, an inch isn't going to do it. So here are my inch and a quarter screws. And by pre-drilling, I shouldn't split the wood. If I had my nail gun, as long as you're gluing first, I could use my nail gun. But that's at home. But using the right length fastener is huge. So I'm going to do the same thing with this board. <laughs> 